position. <coughs> okay? That's position zero. This is the first position. When you're, wherever your first finger is, that's the position. Those numbers after those five fingers have nothing to do with that. And yet people are t asking me questions and they're saying numbers. I don't get it. I don't know what you're talking about. Positions, names, what the fuck? Hey, getting old. Anyway. So it's always a treat to go to New York. Uh, I had to uh, drive to, uh, through a little bit of New York. <coughs> Manhattan to uh, get to Roger's shop, which is in Long Island City. I believe it's part of Queens. There's another tunnel you have to go through over there. But uh, very difficult to get to get there. I picked the wrong tunnel. But coming home was easy. So all the arpeggios. Okay, I had a private student and okay, we're he got all the fingerings. Okay, now extract the arpeggios. Arpeggios, minor seven, dominant seven, major. Okay? Well, it took me 20 minutes to teach this person to go like this. And another 20 minutes for this one. So now 40 minutes into the lesson. And he says to me, boy, I hope there's not any more of those. Jeez! something clever to say here, but that's kind of sad. Chord voicings. Do you know there, there's five basic sets? Top four, middle four, bottom four. You can play all those, all these inversions. Two, five, one, there's, there's nines, plus nines, all that shit, okay? There's also this group of fingerings. It's the sixth string and the top three. get them whichever I play these top four strings whichever on the D string lower it an octave and then you get those okay. there's yet another one A string D string and the top two E and B flat e, B and E seven useful. Then you have the bottom two and the top two. Uh, where is it? There we go. Now you know these can become nines and look here's G9. There's even a thirteenth in there. Okay, all the chords are there. And then there are these close voicings. So get, uh, I'll play a C7th arpeggio. I'll put a note in there. I'm adding D. What if I minor that? Okay. Uh, let's see if I uh, make a pl flat nine. Or I like this one better. Raise fifth. You, but I'm making my head hurt. I'm giving myself a fucking headache. So I think I'm done with this shit. I think I'm gonna have a glass of wine and some raviolis. What a great instrument this is. I mean, just the guitar in general, but this especially. A small body. It's just so even. Are the Marzio pickups. They're wound to Roger's specs. The strings are Sadowski strings. Um, it's a set of 12. I don't know the individual ones. 12, 14, 
I, I, I forget, I have to look at the pack of strings and see. Uh, these are uh, not flat ones, the other ones. The ones that make this noise, which I prefer. Swing Face from Buddy Rich Band. I learned so much oh, from those musicians, They're just incredible players. I was lucky. I've been fortunate my whole life to get to play with older musicians. Uh, my father was a musician, had any questions, he was there, you know. And uh, just people that liked my playing. One guy, Jack Prince, that owned JJ's Grotto, he tortured uh, two executives there at Concord until they signed me. But I mean, see that? That's luck, you know? Of course, you have to be able to play good, but. short scale so I can make these very easy. CDs I haven't listened to in a while, and my wife found this Tony Bennett CD, and that was on it. That's a man, he really could sing different parts from different parts of his career, you know. Uh, how do you learn the right chords? Well, I'm gonna have to make that this, this video is getting too long. The correct chords to the tune, listen to the guys Tony Bennett, Frank Sinatra. Okay, don't listen to them, listen to what's going on. That they're the right chords, and there's also some substitutions there. In fact, look, I learned this one a long time ago. Uh, I'll show you the substitution. Uh, I believe this was Barbara Streisand on the record. The song is all the things you are. There's a verse to it, too. I forgot the verse. But anyway, I heard in the string part, I believe it was done by Peter Matz. E flat minor seven, now watch this. E minor. A flat. Okay, that the whole two five is tritoned. E flat seven, what's the tritone stuff for E flat seven? A. We'll come before A seven, so you got. Sounding 
guitar. Uh, Peter Henriksen, Henriksen amps, the bud. All right, I don't, I don't know when you guys will see that. that uh, uh, there's another, I'll get to those other questions about how to get, uh, you do have to, you have to use your ears if you, you know, to learn. If, you, if you're tone deaf, you forget it, you know? Shouldn't be near an instrument. Shouldn't even be allowed to go in a music store if you're tone deaf, you know? It's a joke in there, but I'll leave it alone. Uh, anyway, so, I think I babbled enough today on this lesson. This is called bloviation, okay? It's bloviating. Well, what's he doing? Ah, that fucking jazz guy, Jimmy. He's on a goddamn YouTube. He's bloviating. See you soon.